Hello there, hi. If you're watching this on the replay, hello there, hi. My name is Julie, um, I'm an artist, I'm based in UK and I paint with beeswax. Hey Alice, hey, thanks for joining on my scope. Um, I loved listening into yours a moment, some of those things you were saying, it was just, as you were saying them, I was typing them in at the same time, so that was really good. So um, thanks for popping on, good to connect up with you. So I'll give you a little tour of my studio today and you can see who you've been talking to. Hello Iris, hello, thank you for joining. So um, excuse me if I'm a bit, but I've got a bit of a cold today, so um, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit snuffly up, but um, so I thought I'd jump on. I'm doing Hearts Open Studios at the moment, whereby I open my studio to the public and people can come in and drop in at any time during my opening hours. So if somebody does come in in a minute, I might need to just end the scope quickly and I'll pop back on again um, once they're gone. So it sounds like you guys are knowing each other here, so that's cool. Thank you for inviting those followers as well, Alice. That's really cool. Um, hello there, couldn't bother, hello. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna, I paint with, I paint in all sorts of medium, but primarily with beeswax. Um, I love it, there's something very, very special about it, and not many people know about it, and um, it's quite big in the States and Canada, and moving more so over this way. So I am hoping to be able to share some of that with you guys, and um, based on Open Studios so far this year, it has been amazing. So um, if anybody has ever seen it before, let me know, and, um, it's just good to see who knows what about it. It's brilliant. I'll be moving to London next year so I can... Brilliant. Yeah, come and check us out. We're only about probably just over half an hour on the train from London. Um, so we're in Hertfordshire, which is um, Junction 20 on the M25, um, or sort of just about half an hour if you get the fast train from Euston. So it's not far at all. So yeah, come and come and say hello. So that'd be lovely. So Joanna Brendan, I don't know that name, Alice, I'll have to check her out. So there aren't very many of us in the UK that paint with wax that I'm aware of that I can find anyway, although it is becoming more popular slowly over here as supplies get more available. So um, I will check out the comments when I go back at the end of the day and um, see that. Hello, Cathy. Hello. Thanks for joining. So I'm just going to switch this around. Enough of me. <clears throat> I thought I'd show you some of my setup. Um, so I have got here some beeswax. It's just about started to melt. So this is something called encaustic medium. Um, it's based on an RNF, um, who are a manufacturer in the States. And what that is, it's a beeswax which has a Damar resin added to it. Now let me show you this here. So uh, um, it's got, you yeah, know, this stuff here is called Damar resin. So you basically you melt your plain beeswax. Um, and I've got some natural breeze wax over there as well with some Damar resin and that will raise the melting point and um, will make it more robust as well. So basically that's what um, what this is going to be. So you'll see when it um, starts off in a solid form and as it melts, you'll see this is almost like cooking. You It will heat up in a moment and um, get warm and fluid and then you can uh, really, really start to paint with it. So I've got... Um, I've got this one kind of cooking away, um, just so I'm going to add some more medium to that in a moment because as you can see there's not very much left in there. Uh, hang on, I need to... Yeah, I I have been working with this medium. Hang on just a minute. Um, I need to prop this up. I need two hands to put this in. I Let me see if I can balance that there. You can look at my palette then up nice and close. There you go. Um, yeah, I've been working with encaustic about four years now and so slowly but surely I am adding and adding to my materials list and um, looks like you have to be quite organized <laughs> um, yes and no there are very there are varying parts of not being organized but yet I do like to be quite organized with it as well so yes a little bit of both so that will melt itself away in a moment and you'll see it really is almost like kind of cooking with butter or something it, um, it just will slowly melt and I've got my hot plate on here, so I don't know if you can see, this is, yeah, it's actually quite fluid now. So when this is cool, it's a complete matte finish. And then you can, you basically use this like a giant hot plate. So you can have small individual or pots of individual colours that you can, you can literally sort of use this as a, as a hot plate, as a, a palette then. You paint with encaustic, oh, brilliant! Kathy Nichols. Now, have I connected with you before, Kathy? I'm not sure. There aren't. I don't know many encaustic. Are you in the UK or are you in the States, Kathy? Do let me know. Um, oh, very excited to have more encaustic artists in town because, um, yeah, they're, um, they're they seem to be few and far between. So anyhow, you can then. So this is some of the wax medium I just poured into my big pot over here, but you can literally kind of add this onto your hot plate. 
to kind of make it more translucent and you'll see this will kind of start to melt and you can use that to paint on to your to your pictures so I'm giving you a very very um, non instructive uh, demo here so what do you paint so do you paint on the hot plate um you can either you can put let me know if i got my hot plate is a bit um why can't i see the others talking is it anybody yeah if other can you see could somebody put some comments up please just to see if um the other guys can see each other's comments um i can see comments so i can see kathy saying hi maybe we're just being quiet yeah everyone's watching intently that's what it is so uh, hello oh you look we've got lots of people on here that's fab we've got 33 in the room so that's amazing so thank you mind your own beeswax <laughs> hello from canada hello hello so brilliant we're we're back in town good 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 so you can work with it a couple of ways you can um one of the things to say it's actually you have to be really really careful with your melting points spectating good stuff good stuff hello impulse oh eight hello good to see you again um, so really important to make sure you don't overheat your beeswax and you need to have very good ventilation as well. Um, the You can actually release quite toxic um, uh, smell, blah, 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 what have you, um, if you're not careful. So you've got to be careful with the heat as well. So good, good. So, oh, we've got some states people in. Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. So anyhow, um, oh. You can see I've put some paper on here so this is actually using the hot plate directly and I've put my fingers on it and I'm sticking so you can see as it's heating hey good to see everybody connecting on here so you can see it's I mean not that I normally paint with my fingers I'm talking and scoping as I've said before if you've caught any of my previous scopes um, I'm not I prefer I'm not good at painting and talking at the same time so you can kind of paint directly on a piece of paper um, so as you can see the paint brushes now are completely fluid so you can I mean I'm not looking for a finished piece here at all I'm just kind of showing you how the wax moves but you can really begin to kind of go into your your paints there and obviously you could add different colors I'm gonna splash this on so you can see it once it's fluid you can just kind of use it as you would any other kind of paint um, and splash and drizzle and just do all I love encaustic it's, it's pretty much as limitless as your imagination First one of yours for me is that you mean one of the first scopes? So thank you for uh, thank you for coming on. So uh, yeah. So anyhow, I love it. I just think it's the most beautiful. So you can see this is kind of. I need to just turn my heat up a little bit. I have to really concentrate on my heating because I'm d careful not to overheat it. So this will become completely fluid in a minute. I turned it down a little too much. Um, not paying attention whilst talking as well. So I'll just turn it up for a sec. If I haven't gone back to this, can someone say, don't forget your wax, because I'm very likely to forget it and it'll be overheating. Um, so, and then but what you basically do, so sometimes I'll paint on the paper directly on my hot plate here. I'm gonna take that off now, because so you can see that's like a thin encaustic paper. So it's a very thin layer. And then as that cools, that will, that will sort of solidify, if you like, I'll put that there for now. Um, and then the other way is, I've just, this is a, normally um, I'll do these on a wooden panel, this is just a practice piece that I've got on at the moment, but what you can do, it's quite difficult painting one-handed and scoping and talking at the same time, but if I, and I've only got a very small paintbrush here, I'd normally do bigger, um, but you can kind of paint onto, thank you, thank you very much, so you can paint onto you kind of, so this is a beeswax layer with waxes and um, paints and pigments as well. But what you do, so I'm gonna, this might go a bit noisy now, um, what you do layer by layer. So I've got a hot, hot air gun. Why wax? How does it look different? I love the texture, the texture, the feel. Um, let me show you this piece over here, which is again another test piece. Um, can you see how glossy that gets? It is honestly just working with it. It's a real kind of, oh, I've never worked with anything like it. It's beautiful. So once it's cooled and solidified, you can, um, you buff it to this really high shine. It's just beautiful to work with. No, the, the surface doesn't damage um, easily because, do you remember I showed, oh, back to my wax, maybe keeping an eye on that one. Let me turn that down a little. Do you remember I was saying about the Damo resin? 
Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. <laughs> um, I was saying about the Damo resin. So once that's added, it raises. Oops, I'm throwing it on the floor. Once that's added, it raises the melting point and makes it more robust. So can I talk about what encaustic is? Encaustic, actually. Oh, I'm sorry you got to go, Mad Labs. You're lovely. Thanks for dropping on while you are, you asked you were here. Um, enjoy your walk. Um, Encaustic actually means to burn in, so it's the process of heating rather than the actual wax as such. It actually dates back to the Egyptians. It's an old Egyptian, or about 2,000 year old, um, it's a Greek word actually, thinking about it. Um, it's, it's the process of burning in, um, so it's that process of heating. So to give you, talking of the Egyptians, it actually dates back to, so this is early iconography, which you can see my fingers now, early iconography which was done, painted in encaustic wax and these are something called the Fayum mummy panels. Now I'm going to go and study those in October which is going to be really exciting so that's another sort of separate project but they, um, yeah you can, I've got some over there in a moment actually I'll show you Alice. Um, so yeah it's it, because beeswax is a natural because beeswax is a natural preservative, uh, it um, it has kept those pigments as pretty much as, as they were many, many you know two thousand years ago. They're as bright and um, yeah, it is it is awesome. It's amazing. Um, so they stopped using beeswax and started using egg tempera, but that has deteriorated over time. So the moisture's got to it, and um, it's so. So this piece here was done in encaustic. Oh, sorry, in egg tempera. Um, it was cheaper and quicker to work in egg tempera than it was the beeswax, but um, over time they found that these these ones haven't excuse my black fingers, these ones haven't um, haven't stood the test of time so well as the beeswax versions. So I've got a little project. Once Open Studios has finished, I've got a little project going on. So I'm going to go and study those, do some iconography, have go doing some portraiture in wax because um, I'm just really fascinated to see how that is going to work. So um, yeah, so it's good. So, the beeswax here has nearly melted, so you can see that is kind of getting closer. So, still keeping an eye on that. Then back to this piece here. What you have to do is once you've added some wax on, you have to fuse it. And fusing basically involves using a hot air gun. And you might, it might be a bit noisy for a moment, but basically you melt one layer to another layer and that will pretty much kind of set one layer to another. So it's a bit of a balance between not losing your colour. Thank you, I'm pleased you're enjoying it. Um, it's a bit of a balance between not losing your, yeah, um, you know, with the, this pattern you put on. Thank you, everybody, this is lovely. Um, I love it, I find it fascinating. It's the most beautiful thing to work with. Um, it's just, it, it's, there's something very, very special about it. I just think it's gorgeous. So you can see at the moment that's quite matte, but once that has completely cooled, I will be able to um, polish that up to, as I was showing you here, this sort of really, really high shine. So, um, yeah. So I just fell in love with it. I absolutely also feels you tired. I can sit and play away quite happily, so um, it's good. So... I'm going to give you a quick tour of my studio and then I'm going to, I'm always very conscious not to overheat my wax and I'm, when I'm talking, I'm quite liable to, um, to, uh, dis you know, forget it. So, um, I'm going to give you a quick tour of my studio and have a quick last look at the wax and you'll see that completely fluid. And then I will, um, I will try and do some more scopes after that. Can I burn it? Yeah. If you overheat it, it will release these toxic fumes. So you have to be so careful on ventilation and not overheating. So, um, yeah, it does. There is a flash point to it, which off the top of my head I can't remember. I've never got that close um, to it. So yeah, you've got to be quite careful. So last quick look at this. I mean, look at that. It's just the most delicious stuff to work with. It is like acid fumes. Yeah, yeah. I've never done itching, but um, yes, you, you, you just got to be quite careful. I mean, the smell of the beeswax in itself is just glorious. It, that is, so you can see you can start to, and you can use this kind of dripping and drizzling technique on your paintings as well. So you can actually, in fact, let's go back to my test piece over here. You can actually start, so I fused, just fused these green turquoisey pieces. So if I were to then kind of start dripping and drizzling this on, you know, you can, 
drip and drizzle. So you can kind of use the splashing technique. You can do lots and lots of different things with it. And then I'll go back and fuse that again as well. So um, yeah, it's, it's all very good fun. So anyway, that's my beeswax, my hot plate. So this is my studio. Um, this is kind of all the working business end that's going on. And then um, I've got uh, a bit more ordered on here so checking out your work on art finder no, thank you thank you i've got i must upload some more pieces actually i'll put a few pieces up um but uh, i need to need to add some more consistency but um yes dear it's uh, it's lovely lovely stuff and if you're in hertfordshire um i have say i'm doing open studios at the moment so you'd be welcome to come in and have a have a demo so this is kind of my section that's all sort of open ready for visitors um, so I've got the browser stands and bits and pieces here. Oh, and Alice, you were saying about the layering. So these, um, I've got some others. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I love, I just love it. Um, you were saying about layering and adding pieces in, I'm so conscious of my two black fingers here. Um, so yeah, so here, for example, I've added leaves and butterflies and things. Did you make this type of art up? Are you the only one who does it or do other people do it also? Um, there are some other artists that do it. It's it's, um, it's really, really big in the States and Canada and really not not so much in the UK. So thank you. That was, I'd love these. I'd, I'd love these pieces a lot there. Um, yeah, if they if they do so, I'll be quite sad. Um, yeah, the, I don't know, it's all been quite a special process for me of actually um, finding this stuff out. So there's a lady called... Um, this lady, Patricia, if anybody's heard of her, Baldwin Sebrook, I'm not sure how to pronounce her surname, I need to uh, check out the pronunciation for that. Another lady called Shauna Moore, um, and I've been sort of speaking with them quite a lot, they're both both based in the States. Um, I saw it and I just had to find out how to work, how to work with it, I love it, it's just, there's something, I love all kinds of art, all kinds of painting, I do watercolours, acrylics, um, pastels, lots and lots of different styles. But there is something extra special about this beeswax it has a special quality to it and um yeah i'm really looking forward to the uh, studying the egyptian panels and the portraiture um which i'm going to be doing in october so it'll be interesting to sort of see where that takes me as well so yeah i'm running a lot of um so it's a busy couple of months got lots of workshops being booked up in october as well so many people coming in wanting to find out about it um I, you can't buy the supplies very easily thank you um, so I supply the supplies now as well and I don't know, I d people are definitely interested in it. I've had so many visitors coming, buying products, booking for workshops and, um, and what have you. So yeah, it is all good. It's all good. Um, thank you so much for joining me on my scope. Um, there you go, look, I'm going to sit and play with this. Keep a very, very close eye on my thermometer, making sure that it stays between 180 and 200 degrees. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to and do some beeswax painting for a little while. So um, if you want to check out, if you, I say, if you are nearby, do come and uh, come and say hello. We're open for one more week, actually. So this is our last Sunday. We're open up until the 27th. So um, what are the benefits of using it? Um, it's just a different medium. Some people like watercolour. Some people like acrylic. Some people, you know, I just for me, I find it really therapeutic. I, I just there are, and there's lots of different styles. I've shown you one style here today. There's another style with a pre-coloured wax block that you can apply with an iron or a stylus. Um, and again, that's another completely different, but it's just so, there's something very, very therapeutic about it. It is beautiful. Um, if you go to catch.me with a K, Julie underscore wax artist, you'll see some of my scopes where I've been painting with an iron. And it's just, it's just the, I think it's the fluidity. It is like buttery smooth, you know, chocolate when it melts and it's just got that gorgeous, buttery smooth consistency so it's that kind of feel and texture to it it's just um i love it absolutely love it anyway so i am going to um i'm going to press on here i think and um but thank you so very much for all your comments and for the hearts and for everybody that stayed on and um and joined me on here um check out my website um which is juliansgallery.co.uk um, so you can have a check out on there um, and you'll see some of my work on Art Finder, as the other lady was saying. And yeah, just if you're nearby, come and say hello. Um, will it melt on a really hot day? No, it won't. Um, ask me why. <laughs> there is um, there's a video. On 
come outside a moment. There's a video on my Facebook page. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, and it was a really hot day here in the summer. My studio was over 110 degrees here in the summer. It's, it's an old, in fact, let me show you. It's an old outside. Oh, turn around. It's an old kind of converted barn, if you like. So you can see. Um, so it was absolutely so I did lots of testing and um, but because if you remember if you were on the scope earlier it um, I was talking about the Damar resin that's added and that will raise the melting point so that it won't it won't melt down your walls now um, it makes it much more solid much more shiny and yeah raises the melting point so as I say it was 110 degrees which is about 43 degrees in my studio in the summer we have what don't get many really hot days in the summer but we had one exception this summer which was the 1st of July 2015 it was the hottest day on record and it was a really good opportunity for me to test it myself um, so yeah I've got that video proof so if you go to my Facebook page Julianne's Gallery you'll see there's, a, there's two or three videos there but um, that was me walking around my studio on that day and nothing was moving or melting so yeah but there we are so yes anyway i'm pleased you've enjoyed um me talking about my wax i love it absolutely love it so it's um i'll yeah show my website again it is julianesgallery.co let's pop it in the comments for me as well um it's www.julianesgallery.co.uk so yeah there's a lot more information on there Hopefully it's enough to get a screenshot of some of my, um, so you can use a hot air gun, an iron, different sort of hot plates and things. It's, uh, it's lovely stuff. So there's, there's a link there with the open studio, studio details. So if you want to come and have a look for yourself, um, I think we're open 11 till 3 weekdays and 1 till 4 weekends. And so it's the last week, but closed on a Wednesday. Anyhow, thank you so very much for joining on and uh, no, you're very welcome. I'm pleased to be able to share it with you. I'm pleased you've enjoyed it and found it interesting. So um, anyway, thank you. All the very best. Have a great Sunday. Bye. Bye.